preps our stats. We're here with Coach Billy Dooley, number one ranked with a 13 one and one record, playing in what has been the toughest region in the state with the three top ranked teams, 5A, all of your region. Collins Hill is uh, ranked number one, Mill Creek number two, and North Gwinnett number three. What's it like playing in a region in a county like Gwinnett with so many really good teams? I love it. You know, you got to come to play every single day, and you know, even teams that are you know fourth, fifth, and sixth right now, you know, they they've got a shot to win. I know last year that I think the first, sixth, seventh, and eighth ranked teams were the one that went to state. So every game, it's a you know anybody's ball game. You won the state last year. You're doing great this year. How would you compare this year's team to last year's? What were your expectations coming into this year? Uh, I really try as much as I can not to compare the two teams. I mean, it's two different years. You know, there's a different ball being played in the state. And, you know, this year moving back to 43 feet on the mound, you know, it's a completely different ball game for everyone. So, you know, we're, we've just been, been blessed enough to get good players and, and continue to hit the ball well, even with the change in speed. And, you know, we're lucky to have good defense and, and good players. And, you know, I figure as, as long as we keep doing the things that we're doing, then good things are going to happen. Has that changed anything for your pitchers that you push back? Uh, somewhat, you, you know, the extra three feet gives the gives the hitters a little bit longer reaction time, and we've given up more runs this year at this point than we had in the past. But you know, it, it's the same for everyone. You know, we've given up more, but we've also we've also scored more than we did last year. Any surprises as far as individual performance? Like anyone who stuck out that really stepped up this year that was unexpected? Well, you know, we we've, we've got pretty good players, and uh, you know, I, I guess I wouldn't say you know unexpected, but. I guess really the biggest surprise this year, I guess two people. One would be uh, Ariel Patterson. She's playing left field and she's also a DP. She's been hitting the ball really well. And another one's Amber Hosey. You know, she's our first baseman and she's hit a couple home runs. And two girls that didn't get a lot of playing time for us last year, but they've stepped in and kind of kind of just filled in where, where some of the people that graduated left off. Tomorrow you have a big game against Roger Parham's number two ranked Mill Creek team. They beat you the first time you played them at Mill Creek for your only loss of the season. What do you see when you look at Mill Creek? You know, year in, year out. You know, Coach Parham is his first year back, and I would like to welcome him back and coaching after 10, year, 10 years right, taking off. Um, you know, they're always very well coached. And I know Coach Parham and Coach Jones and Coach Turner over there, um, you know, the girls are very well coached. And, last, you know, last game it was, a, it was a close game. You know, we hit balls hard and hit them right at them. So, you know, I just expect another good game. Statistically, the teams are almost identical in scoring runs and runs given up. The difference is in fractions. In a game like this, against teams so evenly matched, at least statistically, what do you think the keys to winning are? The little things. You, know, you get runners on, I mean, runs are going to come in a premium, and uh, you know, you get runners on, you got to bunt them over. If you're stealing a base, you got to get good jumps. You know, you got to do the little things in order to win this kind of game. Coach Julie, thank you for your time, and best of luck tomorrow in the rest of the season. Thank you so much.